in this edition of lecture we will analyze the states of matter of chapter 1 chemical reactions and equations so the states of matter which define the state at present time of a matter so observe different type of matter around you what are its different states generally states define the condition of a matter so we can see that matter around us exists in three different states named solid liquid and gas so three types of matter present solid liquid and gas these states of matter arise due to the variation in the characteristics of the particles of matter so these three kind of matter exist due to variation of characteristics of particles of matter the solid state have different properties the liquid state have different properties and the gaseous state have a different property so first is solid state so below the topic of solid state there is an activity which describe the solid state properties so collect the following articles like pen book needle or piece of wooden stick at your home and sketch the shape of the shape of uh, above articles in your notebook by moving a pencil around them and do all things have a definite shape distinct boundaries and fixed volume and what happens if they are hammered and pulled or dropped are these capable of diffusing into each other or try to compressing them by applying force are you able to compress them so if a matter is present in solid state then are we able to compress them are we able to break them easily so all the above are the examples of solids and we can observe that all these have a definite shape distinct boundaries and fixed volumes so the first property of the solid state and that is have definite shape distinct boundaries and fixed volumes solid have a tendency to maintain their shape when subjected to outside force and solid may break under force but it is difficult to change their shapes so they are rigid so we can say that the solid are very rigid because they are very difficult to break so consider the following that what about a rubber band and can it change its shape on a stretching is it a solid and what about a sugar and salt when kept in a different jars and what about a sponge it is a solid yet we are able to compress it then why so all the above are solids a rubber band changes their shapes under the force and regains the same shape the force is removed if excessive force is applied then it breaks if we applied excessive force on a rubber band then it will break the shape of each individuals of sugar and salt crystal remains fixed whether we take it in our hand put it in a plate or in a jar so a crystal of sugar is also a solid because when you put it in a plate or in a jar they remains they are fixed in their fixed shape and the sponge has a minute holes in which air is trapped when we press it the air is expelled out we are able to compress it a sponge have a different minute holes in them so uh, due to the trappedness or due to the fixation of air in that so we can able to compress it so spongy is also a solid uh, matter so second is the liquid state 
So what is the quality of uh, liquid state? We observe that liquids have no fixed shape but have a fixed volume. Uh, liquid is a kind of matter which do not have fixed fixed shape but have a fixed volume like uh, when we uh, go when we uh, are going to purchase any milk or any oil the concentration the concentration is in the volume like liters like one liter and two liter so they take up the shape of the container in which they are kept and liquid flow the liquid flow and change shape so they are not rigid but can called fluid So, solids and liquids can diffuse into one. Uh, solid, solids and liquids can able to diffuse in them, and the gases from the of from the atmosphere diffuse and dissolve in water. These gases, especially oxygen and carbon dioxide, are essential for the survival of aquatic animals and plants. So, all the living creatures need to breathe for survival. The aquatic animals can breathe under water due to presence of dissolved oxygen in them or dissolved oxygen in water. Thus, we may conclude that solid, liquid and gases can diffuse into liquid. The rate of diffusion of liquid is higher than the solid and this is due to the fact that in the solid state, Particles move freely and have greater space between each other as compared to particles of solid state. So, the conclusion is that the liquid state have enough space to intermixing with another gaseous or solid form, but as compared to solid particles, they are the solid particles are less uh, less uh, dissolved properties other than liquid because liquid contain a high amount of a high amount of diffusion property due to presence of spaces present in between them so fish and uh, different aquatic animals survive in the uh, in the water due to presence of due to uh, presence of presence of uh, free oxygen in the water or the dissolved oxygen in the water that dissolved oxygen that dissolved oxygen give oxygen to the aquatic animals and plants for the survival and that is the property of intermixing of gases into the liquid the outer oxygen diffuse with the liquid to make dissolved oxygen and that dissolved oxygen is provide a respiration property to the aquatic plants and animals so here we understood that what are the properties of liquid as and solid states of matter and we also analyze that what are the difference between solid and liquid case a solid and liquid states of matter and how they relate with each other